we're here at Enlex and we are on our way to a few stops today here in the Philippines. It is Holy Week so we are traveling today on a Wednesday afternoon until Sunday to different locations. Actually we are going to I think La Union and Ilocos and maybe some other places so Come with us guys as we explore different places that I haven't been to yet here in the Philippines and come with us as we have a wonderful trip during Holy Week. So we are with some family friends as well and of course we are going to be having some food trips, uh, sightseeing and some other stuff. So please come with us guys and let's see what we get up to this Holy Week. We're here with Tito Alex <laughs> and he has invited us to go to these areas. His hometown in Ilocos. Where in Ilocos are you from? Batak. Batak. So, the home of great leaders. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you belong there, so that's why we're <laughs> that's going. True. We oh really? It. The home of great leaders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. So we're just here going to have a pit stop first. Have something to eat, of course. Pit stops are my favorite. You've seen that in other vlogs. I love pit stops. Grab a coffee, grab some food, and we will be on our way to our first stop today. We are off now to Luna in La Union. We're just gonna have a stop over there for dinner as it's already late evening. There's so many people here, but it's such a great thing to see because it's just a sign that things are going back to normal. So here we go, guys. We're off and let's go to Luna. We are finally here guys in Luna La Union at our family friend's place and we are just going to take a rest here tonight because it is 10.30 p.m. already. We've been traveling since 2.30 today, had a few pit stops and it's been a long ride. So we're just going to take a rest before our activities tomorrow. Just going to explore Luna and then head on over to Ilocos. Good morning guys, it is 7 a.m. and we're about to have breakfast. After that, we are going to explore the rest of Luna and then head off to Ilocos. So we're here at the famous watchtower and you were told that this might have been where Yamashita docked before during the war here in the Philippines so they use this as a watchtower very historical if you want to come here <laughs> so now we are off to Ilocos a three hour, three hours and 45 minutes ish drive from Luna. are here in Vegan City now on the way, stopping over on the way to Batak. It is so beautiful here, the architecture, very Spanish influence. Even the roads are like cobbled stones and just paving. It's just really nice and you can just see, look at this. It looks like a different country here. So nice. It's an example of uh, a well-planned uh, 
Spanish village created sometime in the 16th century. This is the standard village of uh, the Spaniards. They knew how to do it well. Yeah, and this was preserved. That's why it uh, belongs to the uh, UNESCO Heritage Site. Ah, okay. So look, look at this. Those are the structures. Banji's ice cream. Hello. Ooh. Wow. Sarap. 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 in Batak in Ilocos Norte. So this is the hometown of our family friend Tito Alex and we're just here at his rest house and his home here and it's so peaceful, so beautiful, very in one with nature. So before we head off to see the beach nearby we're having Mickey from Marianda. Yum. Oh, that's good. Really good. <laughs> We are here now guys at the Pauai Lake Water Park as you can see behind me. Here at the Pauai Lake JLP Resort. We've come here after going around the lake. Um, we will head back there tomorrow to the Malacanang of the north so we'll have a better look. So we are just here having dinner now and it is a nice resort here with quite a big hotel and what looks like an event space here, very grassy area. Let's see what we're gonna have for dinner tonight guys and then join us tomorrow for more adventures here in Batak slash Pauai here in Ilocos Norte. <laughs> We just finished dinner guys and now we are at the Pauai church and it is beautiful at night with the lighting as you can see the structure it's it's just so beautiful to see it has it just reminds me of European architecture as well which we've seen a lot of today and history and culture and it just gives you goosebumps seeing these sort of things so this is my first time seeing this and it's just amazing Good morning everyone! Good morning! Good morning! Magandang umaga! We are heading off to the beach today guys and some other attractions here in Batak. I'm very excited to see. This is a very spontaneous trip which I also love. Many unexpected sights to see. Started off the morning with a wonderful breakfast surrounded by nature. It's very peaceful and it was just so nice to wake up to the sound of the birds and just see all of this so it's been awesome very relaxing and also fun filled action packed so let's see what we are going to get up to today guys
guys at the Malakanyang of the North. As you can see, a lot of people have come to visit this place. This is my first time and it was a bit unexpected. I'm still in my beach clothes and we've just come from the beach. But we're going to head inside now, have a look and see what we can see here. Um, it is a place that people like to come visit when they are here in Ilocos Norte. After this, I'm not sure what we're going to be up to, but please keep watching to see what exciting things we have lined up next. Oh, go! Sit! Go! Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool! We're back now, oh, guys. Oh, and we are on our way oh, to catch some catfish. Whoa! Kuyabao! Kuyabao! Some Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time riding the back of a truck. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Okay. And he encircled the plane here wow. during that time. He was the first pilot in the whole Batak. Yeah. Oh, having... <laughs> <laughs> wow. It smells so good. <laughs> I know we've been jumping around a lot, but um, this trip is very spontaneous. Now we are in Batak town proper. They're having a procession right now because it's Holy Week, so it's quite crowded around here. But we have stopped by also. Um, Gab noticed there was an Ilocos Empanada um, station here, or a few stations actually. And I've been wanting to try it. Um, authentic Ilocos empanadas because we have them in Metro Manila but of course I've wanted to try it here in Ilocos itself so we have them here and we're about to try them so after this we're going to head back to the house and um, chill Now we are back guys after exploring Batak and we are cooking the hito or the catfish that they caught earlier. Unfortunately I wasn't able to film that part because we were um, just having a look around the area. So we have Cuyaval here cooking the hito. Let's go see. Here's Cuyaval cooking the hito. Master Chef. Master Chef. <laughs> Guys. Guys! We are here now in Lawag. Um, we are taking a trip to Pagodpur and to see the windmills and some other sites, probably a river or waterfall on the way back. 
um, but we are here just taking a stop on the way, eating here at Vladimir's. So the road used to be up there apparently, but because of the landslides, they made this. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's not sunny at the moment and we felt the water already <laughs> quite cold. So let's get in there, enjoy the natural water and natural beauty here. Good morning everyone, this is our last day here in Batak and we will be leaving back to Metro Manila. <laughs> yes, we brought some coffee in the Tindahan and we're just walking back to the house now. Beautiful, cool weather this morning. Waking up to the sound of nature again. And we have a long drive back to Metro Manila. Good luck! Good morning! Daing na bagos. Milkfish. Milkfish! I told you guys this is a spontaneous trip so as I thought we were about to leave we are here doing our last activity here we are going to be going to the sand dunes at Kulili Point this is the first time I've ever done it and we're gonna take a 4x4 on the sand dunes so um, they were asking do you want to do extreme so of course we said yes <laughs> so let's see how that goes guys we have five people per vehicle and let's see how it goes okay that 
phrase there, I survived, scares me a little, but I'm excited, I'm excited. This is, I'm all up for the adventure and for extremes. So I'm really excited about this. Here's our vehicle. Oh my gosh! Hi! <laughs> We're here on the vehicles. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're standing, guys. We're standing. <laughs> How are we This is. I'm scared. <laughs> they go. Off we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. a big adventure we had lunch before we left and now we're on our way home i don't want to leave but this is amazing guys last stop on the way back to manila is we're back here in luna la union to have steak to one finally get to try it i'm really happy and it's nice out sunset Maybe grab a coffee or something on the way back and that will be it that's the rest of our trip so let's just have a look at what the food looks like and then that's the end of our trip back to manila yeah. 